I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Cullen Dancing in the Sun White 2018, which is a Sauvignon Blanc Semillon blend from Margaret River. So, with Cullen wines, it's very hard to know where to start because there's a lot to say or a lot that one could say about Cullen. They are very much a benchmark uh, wine producer. In our 2020 The Real Review list of the top wineries in Australia, they were top, number one, number one winery in Australia. One hell of an achievement. Um, they are one of the original wineries in Margaret River. And today we're tasting a new version of their Semillon Sauvignon Blanc blend, which has got a new branding, Dancing in the Sun. Um, they have been making this style of wine since the very beginning. So back in the late 60s, early 70s, when um, Diana Cullen was the winemaker, the mother of the current winemaker, Vanya Cullen, uh, she was the first person, not the first person to make a Semillon Sauvignon Blanc, but the first person to win, I believe, a trophy at the Perth Wine Show, the first woman to ever win a trophy at the Perth Wine Show, and she did it with one of these wines. Um, the first one was made by Vanya's, I think, um, uh, brother-in-law, Mike Peterkin, when he worked at Cullen very briefly. And uh, but so it was a it was a Cullen wine that was the first of this uh, of this line in, in Margaret River. Now everybody in Margaret River makes a Semillon Sauvignon or a Sauvignon Semillon blend. Uh, this one is a little bit different, is that there's a little bit of a Dello in it as well, but it's largely Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. It's been barrel fermented. Um, a lot of these wines in Margaret River are overtly grassy and they have this really green snow pea kind of character, which I don't really find very appealing myself. It's kind of like the grapes weren't ripe enough. Uh, Cullens always have avoided that character. I'm not sure exactly how they do it. It's a combination of low yields, canopy management, the vines in the right places, picking the ripe grapes or picking the grapes when they're properly ripe and then fermenting them in the barrel. All of that adds up to a wine which doesn't show too much grassiness and which has more complexity and more savoury characters to it. And this is a very good example of that. Yes, it's been fermented in the barrel, but it's not oaky. It has just have another extra degree of complexity, but also the texture is much more interesting and the concentration is enhanced. So when I had this wine in a lineup of other similar wines, the, the big difference, apart from the, com the character and the complexity, was the intensity of the wine. A lot of them are a little bit wishy-washy. This one was intense. Uh, some people would also say that because Cullen is a great pioneer of biodynamics, that makes a big difference to the quality of their wines too. Well, the jury is very much out on that. I think biodynamics um, certainly doesn't hurt. But I think that the amount of attention to detail and the amount of work and the amount of care that they put into their vineyards and their winemaking is probably at least as important. And that's the main, or could be the main reason why their wines are so good. Of course, uh, Vanya has taken Cullen's another level now. She's made it into a carbon neutral winery. In fact, it's a carbon negative winery now, which is one step better than carbon neutral. And she's been a pioneer in sustainability. So how does the wine taste? Well, as you'd expect, it's a youngish wine, not too young. It's already got two and a half years of age on it, so they've kept it back a little while for, for good reason to build extra character. But it's still a light to medium straw colour and the aromas are really quite, quite interesting. Very, very different to what you'd expect from uh, perhaps other people's uh, wines of this style from this region. It's not at all grassy, fruity or, or herbal. It is nutty and toasty and complex. It's got minerally characters. It's got some smokiness from the barrels. There's some dried herb characters, but not green herb characters. Really quite a complex and interesting nose. You could sit and sniff that for quite a while and come out with all sorts of other descriptors. I even get peach nectar and a touch of um, fig out of that wine. Let's have a taste. and really quite a soft, rich wine. Um, this sort of wine, I think, is almost a substitute for Chardonnay because it has the same kind of amplitude, um, a similar kind of texture and mouthfeel. Uh, it's, not as, it's not crisp and tangy and tart like a lot of these wines are. This is a, a really interesting interpretation of a Sauvignon Blanc Semillon style. 
There's almost a little suspicion of sweetness there, but I think it's just the roundness and the ripeness of the fruit and the glycerol that comes out of ripe grapes. Um, wild ferment adds some pretty, uh, some slightly wilder notes to this wine, um, um, which uh, I think adds just complexity to the, to the style. It re responds very well to some aeration, I also noticed. And I, um, first time I tasted it, I let it breathe for quite a while and it really came up well in the glass. And how did we score this wine? We gave it 92, which is a good strong silver ribbon score. It was number four out of 15 uh, Sauvignon Semillon blends from Margaret River from that vintage. And it gets a top value rating. Uh, it's a, what is it, a $25 wine, so it's not expensive. Um, we think that you can drink this wine straight away and at least for another 10 years. And I would just add to that that I've pulled out wines from my cellar that have been well over 10 years from Cullen's of this style and they've been drinking beautifully. So it's quite deceptive how well these wines age. I think a lot of people, when they taste them young, they think, oh, it's a fruity, simple, you know, quaffing wine, and they don't think about keeping it, but they do age beautifully, especially this style. And so we asked uh, Vanya Cullen, the winemaker, to nominate her favourite food with this. And of course, at Cullen's being everything biodynamic, they also have a biodynamic garden. They have a very good restaurant at their winery, and a lot of the fruits and vegetables and um, non-meat type ingredients are provided from their own biodynamic garden herbs especially. Um, so she recommends pan-fried scallops with the biodynamic garden herbs. Uh, that would be her first choice. Second choice is crumbed whiting with biodynamic garden salad. So biodynamic seems to sneak in everywhere and good luck and good, good fortune to them for being such a, uh, an innovative and um, leadership position that they take in the Western Australian wine industry. Good health. <music>